Hey everybody, I wanted to give you my thoughts on wedding wire. And this is kind of aimed at my, my fellow photographers and, and, and fellow vendors that you know might show up on the platform. And just so you're aware, like wedding wire and the knot are the same company. So I'm gonna use those two businesses interchangeably because it's the same thing. Okay, I didn't know that until I until I signed up. So I wanted to book some more weddings for my for my business and I'd I'd advertised uh, both free and paid on a variety of platforms and I wanted to check out wedding wire it was recommended to me by a couple of my friends who got married recently and uh, so I looked into it and decided to go with it I chose the middle tier of the three tiers for vendors that they offer uh, the price is more than you think uh, I'll go there right now uh, the, the top tier I would consider the price of a decent used car. And I said no to that, fortunately. Uh, that was a good call. We'll talk about why more later. Uh, and the middle tier is still very expensive. I'm not gonna say how much, but it's it's four figures, uh, at least high four figures. Um, and that gets you kind of in front of more couples that way. You know, it gets you, it gets you kind of the medium amount of exposure. And I figured that was probably the way to go for me uh, because I'm not new to this. You know, I, I have a lot of, of weddings under my belt and I, I, I was thinking that maybe I could go ahead and invest, you know, a little more than the bottom tier and, and get more exposure from it. So just looking at it, I have so far on Wedding Wire, I have 58 leads that came in and I've booked seven of those. Uh, in the coming years, uh, going as far out as 2024 uh, for weddings. So they, you know, I, I think you know, as, as, as from what they tell me, that's that's actually pretty good. And then on the not, hold on, let me. Of course, here that I'm online, it kicked me out. <laughs> on the not, I haven't done as well, and I, I don't know why. Um, I, I know I don't have as many reviews on the not, and that's probably it because reviews are important. I have 11 leads on the knot and I've booked one. So 11 and one uh, for that and you know, 58 total leads on, on wedding wire, which is, which is going better for me. Something that I do want you to be aware of, uh, photographers, I've had quite a few scammers uh, contact me on there and the way they do it, it's called the, the overpayment scam. And what they do is uh, they contact you and you'll notice right away that something's weird like the language they use is weird I, I i obviously english is not their first language and so that was the first flag for me uh, but then they immediately want to take the conversation off the platform so they want to use you know personal email but they don't want to talk to you on the phone which is another huge flag because i won't sign anything i won't book with anyone until i talk to you uh, it used to be an in-person meeting back in the day, but you know this is I'm doing this in February of 2022. COVID, you know, in-person meetings are are not an option now, or I avoid them anyway, and we just do a Zoom meeting or a Google Meet or at least a phone call. But the point is, I I won't book you until I've actually talked to you. These people won't do that, and so anyway, then what they try to do is they try to quote unquote, overpay you. They try to say, okay, well, this money is for the DJ too and for the caterer and I need you to pay them. And then you can see where this is going, right? Obviously then if you're dumb enough to do this, you take the fake check and then you send money to these other businesses, which are not real. And then the check that they originally send you bounces, they disappear and they've got your money. Um, so I've had that attempted on me twice. And uh, I've been with, Wedding wire for four months now. So uh, I will say that Wedding Wire was very good about zapping the accounts right away. But uh, if I hadn't Googled it, you know, maybe I would have fallen for it. I don't know. I uh, just thought it was, it was weird J just from the beginning. If, if you do this, you'll notice that the language they used was weird and the whole thing just felt weird. And then when I Googled it, looked into it more, I was like, oh, this is a scammer. Gotcha. So be aware of that. So as far as return on investment goes, I, you know, I needed to book two weddings in order to pay for this. And uh, so I've done that, but it's a lot of work too. I am going back and forth with couples a lot, just answering emails a lot uh, on the platform. And it's, it's led to bookings. It's led to work, which is good. 
But I, I think the jury is still out on me on whether I'm going to continue doing this next year because it costs a lot of money. It's very expensive. And just so you know, it's free for the, for the couples. You know, and it's very easy for them to reach out to you. All they have to do is click on your name and you know, they can send you something you know, scripted as, 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 as far as reaching out goes. So I don't know. I, I, I want to know, what do you think in the comments? Should I do this again? I, I, I'm thinking after this, I've probably built up enough of reputation in the DC Baltimore area that I might not have to uh, do this investment anymore. I think more targeted ads on social media and Google frankly, might be the way to go, which is what I was doing before and was doing okay with it. So what do you think? Let me know. So uh, are you going to do Wedding Wire? Are you a photographer? Have you tried this? I just want to know your opinions. Okay, thanks. See you next time.